what, what, what's the right approach? Well, it takes roughly 20 minutes or so for that message to get sent from the stomach to the brain that you're full. And if you're really, really hungry, you're going to inhale. So one thing you may want to do is chew your food. Right. Actually chew it, not just swallow it and you know, inhale. Um, drop your fork. Mm -hmm. That's going to help you eat a little bit slower. Talk to the people that you're with. Mm -hmm. uh, that helps. Um, in fact, I have a patient I'm working with right now, and, and, and his, his advice was, go home and chew your food, please. Let's start <laughs> eating a little bit slower. slower. Yes. Eat slower, and you'll see that over the course of a meal, you'll start to feel a little bit fuller later. If you eat too quickly, you're going to get up, and you're going to feel like you want to pass out. You're, you know, turkey coma. <laughs> a turkey, that's right. Uh, let's talk about hunger fullness and the hunger fullness scale. Kathy, will you go through how we can assess our fullness and how we can stop ourselves from getting so uncomfortably full? It's a terrible feeling. Yeah. Um, you want to eat when you're at a, at a level four, Mm -hmm. uh, and you want to stop eating when you're at a level six. Okay. Okay. So one, you're starving and you are about to take a bite at one of your children. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, ten, you're you know bursting painfully full. You can't you know anymore. You want you kind of want to vomit. <clears throat> um, right. And that's that's not good either. So. If you're eating when you're starving to death, you're never going to make a good food choice. Uh -huh. You're always going to, you know, want maybe something salty or something that's going to satisfy you. That's when we say, oh, I want that big burger. Um, because, and sometimes I mention it's kind of like an alien abduction in your brain. <laughs> you know, somebody else is coming in and saying, this is what we want. And <clears throat> if you're trying to eat healthy foods, it's, you're rarely going to say, oh my God, I'm starving to death. I'm, I want to take a bite out of mm -hmm. chunk of lettuce. No, you want something that's going to satisfy right. you. So the more hungry you are, the worse your food choices are going to be. Mm -hmm. All right? Irrational decisions. Of course. Right. It's like going Erratic. to the grocery store oh. when you're hungry. Yeah. You know, you can't go there when you're hungry because you're going to start getting all the snack foods and putting them in your cart. Right. Versus if you're not hungry, you're more likely to stick to your list. Um, the same thing happens when you're, when you're at a gathering. Um, if you're pleasantly hungry, you're more likely to choose half that plate worth of vegetables. Mm -hmm. If you're starving, may, may not happen.